Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I know it's been a little while. Well, today I've got for you guys this glowy, dewy look. It's very simple, but I just wanted to show you guys how I get glowy skin for myself, being that I have oily skin, how I combat looking oily, and I keep myself looking glowy and luminous and dewy. This look is a few hours old. I've been wearing it. I went out a little bit today. Um, so this look is a little bit old, a few hours old, but I feel like I still look glowy, dewy, and luminous, which is the goal. So yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is what we usually do. We're gonna take our Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm and use it as our primer. And then we're gonna take this Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. I really hope I'm saying that right, but I'm gonna leave all of the information in the description bar. We're gonna take that illuminator and we're gonna put it on all the high points of our face. Like, basically everywhere that we highlight instead of contouring you know what I mean so high cheekbones areas um, the forehead the bridge of the nose the chin above the lip and then um, any excess product that you have you're just gonna buff that out everywhere so next up we're going to be using a combination of a matte foundation and a dewy illuminating foundation so I'm using the Becca ever matte no I'm using the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation mixed with the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. So those foundations combined give you a naturally dewy look, but still keep you matte in a sense. So it's like a combination of a matte look and a dewy look. And this is like my basic dewy look. I will be doing another video of how I do my full on dewy, glowy, glam look very soon. But this is just like my basic everyday dewy makeup look. I combine those foundations so that I can combat the oiliness of my skin, but still get that luminous look. So as you can see, I have a very natural glow going on with my face. And it's because of the illuminator I used prior to putting on the foundation and the combination of two luminous foundations with one of them being matte. So I'm just going to quickly do my brows and get those out of the way and move on to the rest of my face. This is a perfect look for date night, but you know for date night you don't want to do too much, especially if this is a first date. So this was sort of like a first date look for me, so I decided to do a more natural look and that's basically the point of this natural glowy makeup look so with my highlighting and contouring i'm blending that out really really well so it can look super super natural and then i'm also going to do a natural eye just slight wing liner and lip gloss that's it this is a very natural look we're focusing on skin here so make sure you really really buff that concealer out you really really buff the contour out just make sure everything looks very, very seamless. So I worked with mostly cream products, except for the foundations, of course, so that I can get the most natural look possible. When you're trying to go for a super natural look, cream products are your best friend. And even if you do have super oily skin, you don't want to do too much powder. You just want to do enough to set all of the areas that need to be set. So I did a little bit of excess powder, a little bit of baking towards um, my nose area because I know I get super oily there. But everywhere else, I just set it lightly with powder and then buffed it out as I'm doing here. So I'm using my Guerlain bronzer and I use this instead of the CoverGirl Ebony bronze because that one is more shimmery and I already have a very dewy, naturally glowy look going on so I didn't want to add too much shimmer because I'm still going for a very natural glowy look.
So yeah, you can never have too much bronzer. Just make sure you get that in all of the contoured places of your face. And then what I like to do with my bronzer, I go over my entire face with it, even under my eyes where I did my highlighting, just to, to warm up the face a little bit. But I don't like put an excess amount there. I just dust on a little bit there. So I'm putting on just natural looking wing liner here. And I got most of it in the shot so yay me for that this is like a very very natural wing i'm telling you guys this is like first date makeup you want to be super natural just naturally glowy nothing too dramatic so that's why my wing was very um regular <laughs> for lack of a better word so now I'm just putting on a little bit of my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo to give a little bit more of a glow. And then I'm just going to top my lips off with gloss only. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was a quick tutorial for you and you learned a lot. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.